All right, so now that we've talked about how to add single items, we're gonna move on to thinking about how to add new products in bulk. And then we'll end with showing you how to check to make sure that your Amazon listings have done so successfully. So uh, for those of you who have sat through our bulk processing webinar, um, we're gonna go back to our bulk headers guide here and just highlight where your Amazon necessary fields are. For those of you who ha have not attended our bulk, uh, bulk uploading training, please do feel free to join us next week for a bulk uploads webinar for a review of how this whole process works. As you can see from our bulk headers guide, which of course you find under the bulk uploads tab under templates, which is right here, you'll see the guide. You can just download that. Here, what you'll see is the key is color coded. We're gonna need all of the red mandatory fields. Our general fields, of course, are gonna come from this universal bucket, and then we're gonna be paying attention to all of the fields here in purple, which are for Amazon. So if you go in to the bulk headers tab, you'll see that these are arranged in a particular way. All of the column headers that you're gonna need are here in the first row. The second row provides you a definition of what these headers are, and the third row gives you the list of valid values for these headers. As we scroll across to the uh, front of the list, you'll see here are our mandatory fields. You're always gonna need an action. So whether you're editing products, adding products, relisting products, of course, you're gonna need that action in the first column. The product identifier always goes in the second column. The GUID, of course, is preferable in all cases, uh, but you can use the SKU when you're doing action equals add. Uh, and of course, you can leave the SKU fields blank if you're using the SKU generator. Simply add the column header and leave everything else blank. Here are the general fields that you'll need. Of course, you'll need a stock, a price. You're going to need a title, a condition. Do pay attention to the valid values for the condition. You can add your brand. If you need to add a UPC, that's here. You can upload media, of course, using your media files. If you need to know how to add media either through URLs or through directly uploading them in your computer, please do see our bulk training guides on how this is done. And then as you scroll across, of course, we're gonna start looking for those purple fields, which are Amazon. Here you can see how to add an ASIN. Your item type ID, of course, gives you the subcategory uh, that, um, that you need. And now we can override our prices and our titles by using um, Amazon price and Amazon title that will remove the ghosted information from the general section. You can um, use keywords um, by adding an Amazon search. And then of course, if you use Fulfilled by Amazon, you can turn that on uh, simply by providing uh, the fulfillment warehouse location. So those are actually all of the fields that you need for adding bulk um, items to Amazon.